Looking at this task number 10 uh, about the series connection, we have three resistors between these two terminals A and B. Um, I don't know what happened here with the A, but this should be probably on the other side. Um, and they have these values 10 ohm, 20 ohm, 30 ohm, and we are looking for the total resistance or equivalent resistance between these two terminals. Um, and I will call this equivalent resistance RAB because it's measured or it could be measured between these two terminals. Another question is how would you calculate this? Just the sum, so it should just be R1 plus R2 plus R3. And if we insert these values, it should be 10 ohm plus 20 ohm plus 30 ohm. And of course, the values are chosen in a way that it's quite simple to calculate them in your head. So the total resistance should be 60 ohm. Questions related to this? Not really. Very simple task. It's some, um, I would say, hello, hello world example. If you know this formula, uh, my, my math teacher or tutor at the university um, sometimes said, um, if you know how it's done, then it's very easy. Okay, so I will also directly export. So then new blank note sheet, going back to the exercise task, booklet, copy the next one. And it's, so in this task 11, we have once again three resistors, 10, 20 ohm and 30 ohm. But now they are connected in parallel. And once again, we are looking for the total resistance or equivalent resistance between these two terminals. Um, and I will once again call this RAB. So how do we calculate equivalent resistance in this case? Yeah, so we need this one over um, one over R1 plus one over R2 plus one over R3. And I will not insert the values because it's too, too much effort to write it down, but we can think about the units. If we have one over ohm, <coughs> it will be one over ohm, it will be Siemens. And if we have then one over Siemens, we get once again at the end ohm. So from the units, it does make sense. And um, I will directly use my octave window here to calculate this. So R1 is 10, R2 is 20, R3 is 30. And if we want to have this RAB, it's one over, and then one over R1, plus one over R2, plus one over R3. And we get, we should get 5.45 something. Oh. Um, if you are familiar in an octave and if you would now have even more resistors, let's say we have a hundred resistors and they would be all in parallel and it would be very cumbersome to write down this equation. So what we could do is we could say, okay, I will write all the resistors in some array and say it's 10, 20 and 30. So now I have all the values in one, I, I can move this up a bit, um, all the values in, in one array. And so now I could, calculate one over R, not one over the vector or the array, but one over each element of this vector. So this would be one over, uh, this would be the conductances. We can think about this in a second. And now I could sum this up, take the sum of those. And now I need to have one over this. So one over the sum will also give us the total resistance. And so now this 
formula or this way of calculating it would be very convenient if you have more than much more than three three of these resistors. Okay, so yeah, already spoiled. What what would be another way to do this parallel uh, equivalent resistance calculation? So yeah. Yeah, if, if we just have two resistors, so if we would um, yeah, maybe call this R12, if we, if we have just R1 parallel to R2. So then we could say, okay, it's 1 over 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Um, and so now I can, I could expand this fraction with R1 and R2 and R1 and R2 in the um, numerator and denominator. And so here on the top, I would get R1 times R2. And at the bottom, if I multiply this with this, R1 will cancel and I will end up with R2. I'll write this at the end. And if I multiply this one with this one, the R2 will cancel and what will remain is R1. So if you have two resistors in parallel, you can also use this equation. The product of the two resistors divided by the sum of the two resistors. And this is usually easier to calculate in your head than using this formula over here because the, the one over is always the difficult thing to do. Um, but but this, this formula does not work for three resistors, right? For three resistors, you cannot write down R1 times R2 times R3 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3 because it also not works for the units. If you have three resistors multiplied on the top, you get ohm to the power of three. And then if you just divide by ohm, you will end up with ohm squared, which does not make sense. Um, so, but we could also do it in this, in this way. Um, and for this, formula, I usually like to write um, some function in, in octave. So you could also write simple functions here and say, if you have a function that is called parallel and this one has two inputs, namely R1 and R2, the parallel circuit of the two resistors will be, will be this formula that we just derived. And so we could say, okay, the parallel connection of R1 and R2, now really calculated with the values, would be this. And if I take this one um, parallel to R3, I get the very same value at the end, what should also happen. Um, so this would be another way to calculate this. And I'm thinking about a third way that we also discussed in a lecture yesterday. In a series connection, the total resistance is the sum of the resistances. In a parallel connection, the total conductance is the sum of the individual conductances. So here we could also write that G, A, B, is the sum of G1 plus G2 plus G3 and each G N is one over R N. And of course the um, R A B <laughs> at the end is one over G A B and yeah, this is more or less what we already did in, in the octave calculation because um, when I was doing this here, uh, 1 over R, yeah, what is happening here, this is calculating the individual, no, here, when, when I did this, this was calculating the individual conductances. So these are the, would be the individual conductances in Siemens. Then I summed them up, like what we did here. And then I take one over this, this would be the final formula over there. Um, so 
of course <coughs> this and this and this is all at the end it's all the same it's just the very same stuff written down in a different way and sometimes it's more convenient to use this formula sometimes it's more convenient to use this formula 